video and welcome to Kunming, the capital of Yunnan province in southern China. I've been living here for about a year, almost a year, and uh, today I had to do some shopping at my favorite place to shop here in Kunming. Um, not the cheapest place, but they have a lot of western products here. But it's called Carrefour, it's a uh, French supermarket. Uh, popular in France, and then they have several around the world, uh, just like Walmart. I'm hoping they let me film in here. A lot of Western stores don't like you filming in them. They usually tell you to get lost, but we'll try it. Looks like they're all occupied on their phones anyway, though. If you need a rice cooker, come to Carrefour. They got hot plates as well. Imported find a lot of things that you used to in the West. Although this whole section here is the only imported products they have. So it's limited what you can get. The uh, Chinese Renmin B is about seven B or Kwai per US dollar. So that's roughly three US dollars for those peanuts chicken flavor coated. That's not a very good translation. It must be from Thailand. Pasta. Quinoa is very expensive. Five bucks for just a little packet. Western cereal. There's a section I like. Peanut butter. I'm kind of limited on what you got. Jif. Biscoff. Nasa. Tea. There's tea everywhere in China, but if you want Western tea, like I sometimes do, you can find it. English breakfast, still gray. Swiss Miss hot chocolate. And of course, coffee. Not cheap, but you can find it here. Carrefour brand. Nescafe is also pretty common here in China. You can find it in anywhere really. Olive oil, vinegar condiments. Ooh, sriracha. I didn't know they carried that here. They do have a freezer section with some cheeses. Cheese is very rare in China. Ah. European cream cheese, happy cow. Uh, little craft single looking things. I don't know if you can call that cheese. Here we go, Dubliner, Swiss. Butter. Cream. So, in, cream cheese. So, in this entire supermarket, this is about all the Western types of dairy products you're going to see, as far as cheese, things like that. Buying things by bulk is pretty popular here in China. So, a lot of candies, packaged chicken feet, spicy tofu, things like that, rice biscuits. One of my favorite sections, the chocolate section. Lint, Dove, Carrefour has their own brand, which is actually really good, and it's a lot cheaper. Dove, M&M's, Snickers, Maltesers, just like malt balls in the US, Kinder, 
not very common in the U.S. where I'm from, but it is elsewhere in the world. Ferrero Rocher, Hershey's, Milka, another popular brand. Oreos are pretty popular. They got some funky flavors. Uh, let's see, peach, grape flavor, vanilla, rose flavor, uh, mango and citrus, raspberry, blueberry, mm, banana something, birthday cake, a lot of weird ones, green tea flavor usually, or matcha flavor. These are not pets. Pick what you want, and they kill it for you. They also have prepared food already, so if you're in a hurry and you just want some lunch. Chicken. Preserved spices. Not a huge fan of chicken feet. Bakery, also bread, that bread's pretty good, little crepe things, uh, the bread in China is all pretty sweet, there's not a lot of savory breads, some of it's pretty good, it's just you get tired of sweet bread after a while, and pork floss bread. Some of the bread here at Carrefour is not too bad. In the West, they usually wait at the register up front, but uh, here, you pick out what you want and they have these little stations around the produce areas, and they weigh it for you. Same with the uh, pay-by-weight section. This is bitter melon. It's pretty popular. We usually have it two or three times a week in the uh, temple that I live in, but it's ridiculously bitter. A lot of people hate it. Little shrimps. Star anise. Ugh. These are Sichuan peppercorns. Um, they kind of numb your mouth. Uh, the only way I can explain it is like when you eat fresh mint uh, and then the mint oil cuts your mouth and uh, you kind of get that cool feeling all through your mouth like when you breathe in. But the uh, Szechuan peppercorns are like that. They're not spicy at all, it's just the numbing sensation. And uh, the thing I don't like about it, that's cute. Roses, or rose tea. Uh, the thing I don't like about it is uh, I mean, you can't really taste your meal after that. If you have a lot of Sichuan pepper seeds, you can taste nothing afterwards. Preserved meats.
that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed Carrefour in China and I'll see you next time.